Okay, what if Colbert is speaking to a man, but the man only speaks using paintings? I think that's pretty good. Uh-huh. Or, what if, because you know how much I love boats, he's comparing the news anchors to different kinds of boats? I think that's great. Sure, Dad. Oh, and you have got to have Jack Nicholson. What a man! Okay, well, thanks, Ted, for all these ideas for my Colbert packet, but I'm not sure they're really my style. Maybe you could work on them for fun or something. I will. I will. Walla walla, welcome. I'm Italian Dad. Today, as I looked at the picture I have of myself above the toilet, I thought it might be nice to share my top 10 favorite boats and what news anchor I think suits each best. Where is my daughter? Ah, Marina, the slides. Rachel Maddow is a fishing boat because she works so hard to hook me in and I appreciate her, but I'm sticking with worms. Ali Velshi is a tugboat because this man carries MSNBC on his back and no one is paying attention. Marina, take notes. Anderson Cooper is a yacht because he's rich, white, and Marina will never get close enough to working with one. Lawrence O'Donnell is a schooner. Smooth, elegant, of another generation. Please be my friend. Judy Woodruff of PBS is a barge, because at 74, she's moving slow, but not going anywhere. However, her former counterpart, Gwen Ifill, may she rest in peace, was a majestic battleship. How I miss watching her tear people apart. Walter Cronkite is a gondola, because he too operated as a tourist attraction while he was alive. Jim Cramer is a duck boat. I don't know what this is. And Brian Williams is a boat that capsizes. We all know why. Okay, we're done. Time for me to attach solar, pa solar, solar, Jesus, solar panels to the roof by myself with no help, even though I am a 65 plus. Today's word of the day is horse blood. If you think your childhood was bad, my mother thought the brain was a muscle and that to grow that muscle, you needed the blood of a horse. So I drank a glass every day. So remember that next time your TikTok or your tank top or whatever it is only is seen by two people. Today's craft of the day is how to make the perfect spaghetti with tomato sauce. Step one, prepare the ingredients. Step two, cook the sauce. Marina! Step three, make the pasta. Marina! Step four, serve. Today's special guest is Ted Neely. <laughs> Ted Neely is an American singer, actor, and musician. Wow. Best known for starring as the titular role in Jesus Christ Superstar. Thank you for having me. Now, you are very well known for singing this incredibly high note. So, we're going to play a game called Holy Trinity of Why, where I'll ask three questions that start with why. Are you ready? Sure. Okay, question number one. 
were these hats used in the film? This man looks like a plunger. Oh gosh, well, you know, the costume designer really wanted to communicate that they thought they were more important than everybody else. Very Darth Vader-esque. Hmm, I didn't like that movie. Okay, question number two. What? Is Jesus so into foot washing? You know, Judas has a point. Um, well, you know, wearing sandals in the desert every day, your feet do get gross. Hmm, or maybe he had brie cheese for feet, which would be something that we have in common. Okay, finally, question number three. Did no one use this sailboat in the back of this scene? I feel like that could have been really fantastic. Oh, uh, well, I think Jesus rocking out is modern enough, you know, but maybe if there's a reboot, I'll suggest that. Wonderful. Okay, thank you for playing. So tell us, are you going to be performing anytime soon? Why, yes, I... <laughs> I said why, of course. Very funny. So I'll be performing. Have a blessed day. And with your spirit. Be well. Take care. Fart to oblivion. Good night.